No, thank you. We, we take your complaint very seriously, miss. Okay, thank you. <laughs> My ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back uh. to the late quiz night. <laughs> uh, now, now, Amanda, I want to put you in the spotlight because you've got shows coming up and how I can do. I see them? Um, we, yes, I have over the next uh, couple of Fridays in uh, at the Improv Conspiracy Theatre oh, in yeah. uh, Melbourne CBD. Um, I am part of a show running all throughout November every Friday, which is called the Improvised Family Sitcom. I have no idea what it's about because we're <laughs> making it up. Because <laughs> all I know about improv is that it's very yes and. Yes. Uh, do you have, have any trouble always saying yes? <laughs> <laughs> No, and that's not a block, Anthony. I'll tell you why. Because okay. I was answering your question, All right. and um, <laughs> that doesn't make me a bad improviser. Okay, the fact that I can't think of anything else now to say is what makes me. And you are your mum. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, improv conspiracy theatre, family sitcom. Seamless. <clears throat> yeah, nailed it. Right now, it's time for a segment called "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> uh, it's a game that we like to play. We're basically going to show you some quotes. Uh, we've blocked out the subjects. So it's up to you contestants to tell us what that quote is about. And here is our first quote. If the government fails to meet the TET blank, <laughs> does Malcolm have to resign? Yes, Pam. Towering environmental terrors. You know, it's pretty close. If no one else gets, I reckon that's, yes, Matt? Terrible extremist twat. <laughs> you see, again, when we reveal what the answer is, you're both very close. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> what we wanted, Tony's energy targets was the blank there. Ah, Tony's okay. energy targets. So all our answers combined, really. Yeah, so you should all <laughs> get some points. There Thanks, you go. Anthony. I'll <laughs> take them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take all your pity points. <laughs> uh, on to our next quote. It's a crying shame that we can't get reliable blank from the politicians themselves. Yes, Pam. Lies? <laughs> we, can, we can't get reliable lies. That's the one thing no, we can they, get reliable. Like they're always lying and then they change their lies and they just, like, we can't get a reliable lying narrative. You know, it's always... <laughs> I'm not sure. There's no consistency to their lying. I'm not sure That's I'm getting a reliable time. answer out of you right now. <laughs> I'm lying, that's why. <laughs> yes, Amanda. NBN? Oh, no, it's not. It's not. It is energy, mm. was what we were looking for mm. in that one. On to our next quote. Assisted dying legislation should not be allowed. If it's your time to go, blank should make that decision. I'm going to... Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, take some points. <laughs> Thank you. I was going to say yes, the, Matt. Uh, the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper? <laughs> Thought it was all up to him. <laughs> <laughs> You've taken us to a dark place, but it is Halloween. Yes, Amanda? Uh, I'm, I'm cashing in on Pam's God. God? I Same reckon thing. you could combine all those answers, but God is the correct answer, so Amanda gets the points. Thank no. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Thank That's you. So awesome. so awesome. <laughs> Call me flippant. Uh, but most of us would have had a blank put up us at some stage. Yes, Pam. Co hanger. <laughs> <laughs> Pam, it's a family show. Community TV, what can I say? What are Community like, TV. Community TV. <laughs> you thought Grim Reaper was dark. Jeez Louise. Uh, no, would, would either of you two I, I sane would. contestants like to take it? <laughs> I would like to stay away from this answer, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, rocket was the answer we wanted. How's that better? <laughs> ah. Lots of ways. Lots of ways. <laughs> well, I feel like a rocket has multiple uses. A coat hanger only has one. <laughs> stay away from Google, kids. <clears throat> and our last one, our last quote, Malcolm's blank about as useful as a fidget spinner. Yes, Amanda. Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> no. Matt. Is it his NBN? It is absolutely his NBN. Take the points. Because I'm Greg Curtin. <laughs> 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 
I wrote all of them. <laughs> well, right now in the show, it's time for Anthony's Hot Take. to think this whole marriage survey business was not a terribly good use of our tax dollars. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you. Now, to help us celebrate uh, Halloween the Australian way, let's do it. Oh my god! Oh, oh, it's a bat! Oh, the studio is haunted! The studio is haunted! Get out while you can! Oh, it's alright, it's alright. Put yourselves together. <clears throat> Right now, we have a very special guest, Quizmaster. Please welcome the host of Channel 31's own cult B-movies, Watson Prendergast. Good evening, Anthony. Oh, Watson, I'm, I'm terrified already. Thank you so much for coming here and, and, and asking these terrifying questions. <laughs> I have a most mortifying mix of devilishly difficult dilemmas oh, with which to sort the noteworthy from the not worthy. <laughs> can, we, can we just uh, get to the questions? <laughs> Watson, I think you better hurry up. I think our contestants are too scared. <laughs> too scared. <laughs> Understandable. Move along, move along. Tonight's theme, existential dread. <laughs> Complaints about which nefarious government agency grew by more than 50,000 last year? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Centrelink. Correct! <laughs> Diabolical like delays for New Start payments left many without food, rent, and smashed avocados. <laughs> <laughs> Prime Sinister Malcolm Turnbull <laughs> turned his back on his chief science advisor by dropping what? Oh, yes, Matt. Some uh, Mentos in a Diet Coke bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Not worthy. Amanda, have you got one there? I was going to say the sea bomb. <laughs> his pants? <laughs> the clean energy target. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Watson, that's that absolutely terrifying. terrifying. It is. But on the bright side, the next Mad Max movie will be much cheaper to make as a documentary. <laughs> 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 what nightmarish scenario will occur at Manus Island Detention Center this October 31st? <laughs> <laughs> you name it, dude. <laughs> Where do you start? Uh, Human rights violations? <laughs> Take some points anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the food, uh, this is true. Oh. The food, water, and power will be cut off. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Presumably, the prisoners who remain will resort to cannibalism, much like a coalition joint party meeting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so left. <laughs> Anthony, I'm scared. <laughs> That's all right, Amanda, I am too. <laughs> this Halloween, a popular trend has become carving pumpkins into which terrifying TV character? Uh, the host of The Apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon, More information? I, reckon, <laughs> I reckon we give Donald it. Donald J. Trump. That's absolutely <laughs> correct. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Watson Predator. Watson, oh, thank you. I have more. I have more questions I'd like to ask. Oh, no, I think you, you, you've done a very good job. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Watson. <laughs> Can we get like a puff of smoke? Well, <laughs> now at the end of the Halloween round, uh, it's time for a score check. Amanda, you're on 20 points. And Matt and Pam, you're both tied on 30 points. Ooh. Oh, it's neck and neck. So it's gonna be, gonna be an interesting rest of the show. <laughs> Carry over the champ, Pam. Is it true you're running your own quiz? What's, what's this new yes, one Yes, this is my only quiz, Anthony. Tomorrow night at the Carlton Club, I'll be uh, doing my regular gig. 
hosting an uh, off-the-wall quiz, quiz with a twist. Uh, it's going to be Halloween themed. It's going to be really spooky. That's fantastic because you've been doing you've been doing a lot of stuff, haven't you? You've been doing an ad for was yes, it the marriage that's equality? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did an ad for the vote no campaign actually. Yeah, that's fantastic. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> for the vote no, did you say? Yep. That's right. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't have paid you as a vote I'm, no. I was I'm over it. I'm over it. We legalized it in Canada 10 years ago. It's been a mess ever since. So I will not be silent any longer. <laughs> so, you know, they contacted me and, uh, you know, I had some stuff to say. We put together a little ad and uh, maybe you'll see it on TV soon. Well, as we go to a break now, I certainly hope we don't see an, an ad like that. <laughs> we'll see you after the break. <laughs> Same-sex marriage was legalized in Canada over 10 years ago, and it's been a nightmare ever since. One, two, three times a year even, I'm flying back to Canada for one of these weddings. It's havoc on my sciatica. You ever been to a lesbian wedding? You've seen one, you've seen them all. It's a lot of middle-aged women looking like Justin Bieber. Sometimes it's on purpose. Australians need to think of the cost. Getting to a yurt on the shores of Baffin Island is cheap. Think it through, Alice and Rhonda. I have been inundated with STDs. Save the dates. I don't want to explain docking to my nephew. I don't know what that is. What if I like it? So yeah, vote no, seems like a good idea.